Hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Nithi, and today I am finally doing the booktube newbie tag. Hello again, it is I editing Nitty. Is this vlogging? I don't really know. I just want to say that I apologize for the lighting in this video. I was filming it while it was raining outside, which is not a good idea. I was reading the questions from my laptop, which was on the right side of my face, so your left. So there's this bright glow coming on the left side of the screen, and that's because my laptop. So then the right side of the screen is like all dark and it has like shadows on it. And that's because of the brightness of the laptop, like shadowed one face and left the other face like really bright. I tried adjusting it in Premiere Pro, but like, I don't really know what I'm doing, so if it annoys you, trust me, it's annoyed me more and I apologize for it. I've been editing the video for the past few days and it literally is annoying me so much how the lighting changes and how there's just like a dark right side. And lastly, I just want to point out that the shirt I'm wearing in this video says Capricorn on it because um, I'm a Capricorn. I don't know why I didn't mention it in the video, but it's like my favorite shirt ever and um, I love my zodiac sign, so I just want to let you know that my shirt says Capricorn on it. So yeah, enjoy the video. I'm sorry about the lighting. Recently, I just hit 100 subscribers, which is first of all crazy to me, like thank you, thank you so much from like the bottom of my heart, it just, I, I, why, why, why? And I thought it was about time that you guys like actually got to know me. <laughs> I've kind of been avoiding making this tag, just something about speaking in front of a camera and talking about myself just doesn't make me feel the most comfortable, but you guys deserve to know who I am. And this tag is honestly so fun, so I'm doing it anyway. I'll link the original creator down below. The first question is, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because my friends don't know what a book is. <laughs> Literally, none of my friends read, like, at all. And I just think my private story is tired of me ranting about books all the time, so I thought I would bring it to my channel. I just really want to meet people who love books as much as I do. I just want to discuss my thoughts with other people, and I've been like watching booktubers and being part of the book community since 2017 so this is like my third year on here I feel like almost everybody who watches booktube like wants to start their channel and wants to meet other people and wants to discuss their opinions and I thought why not I'll just do it and see where it goes so here we are <laughs> the next question is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to book two am i supposed to answer like i'm not like other girls like i don't know my opinions i guess are going to be unique i mean i guess it's fun that i have opinions i guess you're just going to have to stay and find out and maybe i am like other girls the third question is what are you most excited for about this channel i'm most excited for meeting other people that read books like me as i said before all my friends are kind of illiterate and don't know what a book is so i'm just most excited for talking about the bookish community with you guys i love making friends so far it's just been it's just been the best the next question is why do you love reading i love reading because i've been reading um since i can remember my parents are immigrants so they didn't have the access to books as I have, or the privilege to have a library in their area that I do. So they really made me utilize that and understand the value that education and learning brings to you. They've always encouraged my reading. Most people like reading for like the escapism or for like the literary aspect of it. And while that's very true, I'm going to say this a lot on my channel and the fact is I'm a character-based reader. I love reading for the characters. The book can have a horrible world building. It can have an okay plot, but if it has amazing characters, I will most likely be head over heels in love with that book. Characters make or break the story for me. You can say I'm a people person. I love analyzing people. I love putting myself in the characters' heads and in their situation. It's just my favorite part about reading. It's just all about the characters to me. All my favorite books are of all time have like a high character drivenness about them, if that makes sense. And I think that's just a lot. The next question is what series got you into reading? As I said before, I've been reading as long as I can remember, but like one series when I was really little I love is the Bears and Bears, Bears and Bears books. I read all of them really religiously, they were the best books ever. When I was in elementary school, I really loved the Nancy Drew series, but not like the classic Nancy Drew. I loved this kind. This kind, I read all of their books. Like, it was so fun. I loved Jerome L. Stilton when I was really young. I loved the Weird School Days books. Like, there was just so many series when I was really young that encompassed my love for reading. But most importantly, it'll be probably around second or third grade is when I first got introduced to Harry Potter. My older sister was reading the series at the time and anything she was doing, I was doing. And that's when my introduction to like fandom culture and all that started. I also picked up the Percy Jackson series in third grade. That was it, I never looked back. Although I was like introduced to Harry Potter first and all of that fandom. Percy Jackson just has the most special place in my heart. It's just my favorite series of all time. That was what like really, really started my love for books that were just like 
more than me because it has a whole fan base towards it. My favorite book of all time is The Titan's Curse. I've read this book like more times than I can count. I know I've read it more than 15 times, so. Also books that really shaped like the YA generation, The Hunger Games or Divergent or John Green were all released around like 2012 era and that's when I was in elementary school and that's when I got like an introduction to all these books very early on. I was reading The Fault in Our Stars in fifth grade. I was reading The Mortal Instruments the beginning of middle school and it's just like that's where it started and now like as a high schooler it's like I've seen the YA community kind of grow and more books expand so that's, that's just kind of where it began. Like it started back there and now it's like here. So long story short, Percy Jackson. Even though I was introduced to Harry Potter first and all that, Percy Jackson is definitely the series that I just love more than any series alive. The next question is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I don't really know if I have any questions. I just tell them how much I love them because they're the reason I started my channel. It's because I watched them. I was introduced to this whole community. The next question is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel would be the hardest to overcome? I think it's the fact that like I'm still in school. I'm still a high schooler. I still have the responsibilities of an internship, of a job, my AP classes. Now I have a YouTube channel that I love with my whole heart, definitely. But it's just, it's just like the balance of all of that is I think it's going to be kind of a lot for me. But who says I need my sanity anyway, so I'm doing this. Already booktube is like high above all my other responsibilities, so I think I can make it work. Question number eight is when did you start reading? I kind of already answered this, but I've been going to my local library like ever since I was really, really young. I love that place with my whole heart. The fact that I volunteer there every summer and throughout the year. The fact that my twin sister works there. The fact that I'm close with most of the librarians there. It just brings me so much joy. I just love books so much. Question number nine where do you read i usually read in my bed it's comfortable i love that place in all honesty i can read anywhere i have ebooks on my phone i read in school i read wherever as long as there's just not too much noise then i can read fine and the last question is what kind of books do you like to read is it weird to say that like I don't really have a set answer? That's just like another reason I have this channel to document my reading journey and what books I liked at what time because I know my opinions are gonna change. Is it weird to say I like books with hype? I know hype gets a lot of bad rep. There's usually a great fraction that really likes that book and then there's a great fraction that usually doesn't like that book. That's why there's hype, hence the controversy. But most books with hype, like there's a large following and that following is following that book for a reason. I like books with some romance, but I wouldn't say romance is the category I always reach for. I don't like reading historical fiction books. I stay away from like all science fiction books. I don't reach for memoirs or nonfiction, autobiographies, even classics. Unless they have some tidbits that interest me, I wouldn't really pick up. Anything that makes me reminded of school, I'm gonna like stay away from. I like to read books for pleasure and enjoyment and like being reminded of school doesn't really make me enjoy it. That doesn't mean I don't like learning in books. That's like my favorite part to learn something new and to see something in a different perspective that I haven't seen before. Like there's always going to be exceptions. As I said before, I don't really reach for historical fiction, but The Book Thief is one of my favorite books ever. I don't really reach for nonfiction, but I recently read Educated by Tara Westover and that was like solid A plus book. I talked about it in my mid-year freakout tag, which I'll link down below in the comments if you're interested on how I felt on it. So the vague answer is I don't really know. Like I know which books I think I'll like, but I don't have like a set genre or a set word to describe them. So that's that. That's my booktube newbie tag. If you're new to booktube, please comment down below, DM me, tweet me. I would love to check out your channel and the people I've already met on booktube are just so incredibly nice and so incredibly welcoming. Thank you again for 100 subscribers. I can't tell you how much it means to me because I can't explain it. I love you guys.